An 18-year-old man is in critical condition right now after a car hit him at the intersection of Sunshine and Campbell. People nearby told police the car had the green light to go north on Campbell last night. The teen got hit in the crosswalk as he was walking east on Sunshine just before 11.30 p.m. Officers blocked off the intersection for more than six hours overnight to collect some evidence. Police say it looks like the driver was going the speed limit and they don't think any drugs or alcohol are involved. Missouri's Attorney General just started a criminal investigation into the duck boat disaster on Table Rock Lake. Of course, 17 people drowned when the boat sank during a storm less than two weeks ago. Attorney General Josh Hawley says his office is investigating to decide if criminal charges should be filed. Officers in Mississippi County, Arkansas, lost a police dog killed in the line of duty. A man running from police shot the dog happened east of Jonesboro. An Arkansas state trooper pulled over that driver last night. Missouri police had been looking for that car. The driver then took off and started shooting at officers, killing the canine and also hurting a trooper, though not seriously. The suspect also got hurt, though, when officers fired back. Let's talk some weather now, Brandon. We got a little rain out there this morning. Hold on. Are we going to get more? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, who should I ask then? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll, no, I'll, I'll download the KY3 Storm Team app. There you go. <laughs> I'll put some stuff in there. Now, we actually have some rain when I come back in just a few minutes. Brandon, thank you. Plans to make 3D printed guns like this could be legally available online tomorrow. That's thanks to a court settlement reached last month. The settlement ended a years-long legal battle between the State Department and Defense Distributed, which first posted designs for a 3D printed plastic handgun back in 2013. The company insists sharing the plans is protected free speech, but gun control advocates argue the plans allow anyone to sidestep the law. Here's a letter from 20 states and Washington, D.C., urging the federal government to withdraw from the settlement. It says, quote, in addition to helping armed terrorists and transnational criminals, the settlement and proposed rules would provide another path to gun ownership for people who are prohibited by federal and state law from possessing firearms, end quote. In fact, some lawmakers have been pushing back for weeks. I ask the state considerations for our country. And just yesterday, attorneys general from several states, though not Missouri or Arkansas, filed a lawsuit in federal court. That lawsuit is asking for a temporary restraining order to block the settlement. Again, though, if that's unsuccessful, people can download these plans in less than a day. Arkansas's attorney general has given birth to a baby girl. A.G. Leslie Rutledge is the first constitutional officer in that state's history to give birth while in office. Rutledge announced the birth of her five pound, 15 ounce baby girl, Juliana, yesterday. Congratulations. We're just weeks away from the new school year and if you're a parent, you know it can be tough getting your kids out of their summer routine. Lexi Spivak joins us live though. Lexi, what's the most important thing we can do to get our kids ready for school? Justin, I Justin, back to you. Lexi, thank you. Speaking of school, if you're looking for a job, Springfield Public Schools might be able to help you out. The district is holding a job fair today and wants to fill 50 positions before the school year starts. The fair is at the Kraft Administrative Center. It's downtown on East St. Louis. It goes from 1 until 4 this afternoon. The district is looking for new bus drivers, custodians, cafeteria, and maintenance workers. No experience is required. 20 people in Colorado are hurt after a hailstorm over the weekend. One family shared these pictures right here. They say the hail started pelting their car as they returned from a wedding. They pulled over to try to stay safe, but the hail broke through the windows and hit the people inside. Wow. The family's grandmother right there was hurt so badly she had to go to the hospital. That is nuts. Very nuts. Brain. I mean, I My goodness. The, the hail out there was uh, baseball size. Uh and now, your KY3 Storm <laughs> Team forecast. As Brandon, what we're going to talk about, you're like, storm chances, no temps. So yeah. does that mean there's no temperatures Waffles. out there? We Is have, it zero? We have hit absolute zero. Wow. All my molecular motion cold. has stopped, yes. Uh, okay, not That's really. A, we should probably... <laughs> 
we announce that it's breaking news. <laughs> yeah, we should send a news alert. We, yeah, we should. People right? that would probably know if that actually happened. Actually, you know, funny thing, yesterday, for those that had rain after waiting so long, it was breaking news to them. And, oh, and, and so nice. Of course, not everybody got it, but anywhere yeah. from about an inch down around Table Rock Lake in some cases to two and a half almost in Ooh, Harrison. Almost too much. Mm, that was a good thing. Yeah. A uh, little rain out there this morning we'll look at here. It's Friday through at least early next week. All right, Brandon, thank you. Next, the gift card you can get if you donate blood to the American Red Cross, plus the career move one teacher made to double his income. Stocks are slightly higher this morning. The stocks moving into the green include Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, and Walmart. Dow starts the day at 25,306. NASDAQ at 7,630. Uber is hitting the brakes on their self-driving delivery trucks. The company now says they're going to focus that technology only on cars. Uber bought a self-driving truck startup auto back in 2016 and is part of a plan to break into the freight business. Although that business was caught up in a lawsuit over trade secrets theft, but even without the self-driving trucks, Uber will use the Uber Freight app that was used by the trucks. You can get some free cash for your precious blood. The American Red Cross now has a little extra incentive to get blood donations over the next month. The organization is offering a $5 Amazon gift card for any donations between now and August 30th. The Red Cross is trying to boost donations during this normally slow summertime giving months. You may have wondered about professional shoppers and do they really make money? Well, one teacher decided to give it a try and it's paying off in a big way. It's kind of who I want to be. Now keep in mind, Hennessy spent time working as a shopper part-time, building up a client base before taking the dive into full-time shopping. A girl's new pet gave her mom quite a surprise. The moving reaction, and what's trending next? Trending this morning, a surprise makes a young girl's year. A very honest dog and a mom moved when she meets her daughter's new friend. We start with a super dad, though. He told his eighth grade daughter he couldn't afford the dress she wanted for her big dance, but worked three jobs, put in some overtime, and guess what? What? Zipping. Big reveal. There it what? is. The dream <gasps> dress. And the dream moment. <laughs> the Brandon, That's you're worth not it for dad right there. Very worth it. That hug went on forever. Brandon, you're not getting the dress. I don't know why you're <laughs> getting so excited. I'm getting emotional though. Yeah. It's an awesome. Moment. You never seen me in a dress. I hope not to. I no figured offense. I'd stump you a little bit with that. Nah, okay, moving have, on. You don't have the legs for it. In this next video, a man came home to find some stuff of his torn up. But yeah. he didn't have to investigate too long to figure out who did it. Is there a wild animal in our house? Who did this? Did you no. do this? All right. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for being honest. Yeah. The dog's like, yeah, that was me right here. I mean, <laughs> should have been obvious. You have a dog. You left me alone. I tore up a bunch of stuff. This yeah. New, my dog would just look away, pretending to be interested in something else until right. I just started cleaning up. It's like, oh, what's that? Is that a squirrel? I don't know. <laughs> mm. Go ahead and clean that up. More hashtag totes adorbs hijinks. Now, one yeah. woman came out to her laundry room to find her daughter had made a new friend. This is crazy. You know that, right? You love her. It's a good thing this is nothing but a porch. That's all I can say. I'm not a porch. She is not a porch, but that is a cow in her house. Dog doesn't seem to mind, daughter <laughs> said that. <laughs> cow somehow oh. snuck in when the door was open and pulled right inside. Beef. The kid you know that, said she cleaned you? it up, though. Yes. Little girl also said they'd have to stop eating beef now. I Why? Because beef makes the cow beef. tired. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if she knows what beef is made of. I was heartbroken when I found that out as a kid. <laughs> oh, no. The poor, poor mama cow. The KY3 and KSBR News Update. Good morning, I am Justin Corr. A man is in the Stone County Jail after the sheriff's office says he got into a shootout with deputies and took a woman hostage. This happened overnight near Blue Eye. That's close to Twin Island Market there on your map. Deputies say the man was breaking into homes armed with a gun. When deputies arrived, they say he shot at them and they returned fire, but no one was hit. The man ran to another house and held a woman hostage, but deputies were able to talk him out and arrest him.
An 18-year-old man is in critical condition this morning. A driver hit him at Sunshine and Campbell. People nearby told police the driver had the green light on Campbell just before 11.30 last night. The teen was in the crosswalk while walking east on Sunshine. Police say it appears the van, the vehicle that hit him, was going the speed limit. Police spent more than six hours there gathering up all their evidence. Missouri's Attorney General just started a criminal investigation into the duck boat disaster on Table Rock Lake. Of course, 17 people drowned when the boat sank during a storm less than two weeks ago. Attorney General Josh Hawley says his office is investigating to decide if criminal charges should be filed. The Springfield Public School District is hosting a job fair today. The administration wants to fill 50 jobs before the school year starts. The fair is at the Craft Administrative Center downtown on East St. Louis. It goes from 1 to 4 this afternoon. The district is looking for new bus drivers, custodians, cafeteria, and maintenance workers. We're told you do not need experience. That's all the news for this morning. We've got more news at 11 and noon. Until we see you, have a great day.